This morning, I'm so glad to be alive and in the land of the living. And I'm also grateful that you've joined me again this morning on this time of prayer, praise, and thanksgiving unto the Lord. Yes, this time of devotion is being a fresh experience. And we honor God for all his blessings upon us. And today, I want to share with you a conversation that I had with Jose. Yes, in the book of Jose, chapter 10, verse 12, it reads, So to yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy, break up your fallow ground, for it's time to seek the Lord until he comes and rain righteousness upon you. Jose's point was spot on. A glorious harvest cannot be gathered in where there's not been any labor in the field. As we see God in fasting and prayer while reading the word, we have to ensure that our self, our flesh is checked, checked by the word of God. And one way this can happen is to invest into the things of God and to do those things that God has called us to do. In this book, we see God's people were in disobedience, doing their own thing. But God through Jose was calling them back to righteous living. As we fast and pray, let us take time to hear the voice of God hear where he is calling you to go and let us do it until he comes and rain righteousness upon us. There's no sin greater that God cannot forgive. There's no situation that he cannot resolve. We just need to sow to ourselves righteousness. God will reward the righteous. And so as we seek God, if you're in disobedience, this is time to correct your wrong. If you're not doing what God says, this is time to change. God will help us. His people, Israel, was in challenge. You as an individual may be challenged, but our God never sleeps, nor does he slumber. He is calling us to sow to ourselves in righteousness. Let us pray. Father, thank you for the gift that you've given to us through Jesus Christ. We are the righteousness of God. And we give you praise today as we take heed to Jose, as we read even more his writings, so that we may be convicted and directed and instructed to do your will until you come and rain righteousness upon us. I praise you for those who lead the nations likewise, their families, all of parliament, everyone who influences decisions. We pray that they will sow to themselves righteousness. Thank you for the medical professionals. Thank you for those who lead in the service industry. We pray a blessing on them likewise, that they too will sow to themselves in righteousness. We bring the body of Christ. Thank you for the called out ones, those of us who are called according to your purpose. May we likewise do your will in this nation of ours. We thank you for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere. Let your name be exalted in us today. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, keep you, preserve you as you sow today to yourself in righteousness. Have a great day in the Lord.